Good day, viewers. Marshy here again. Just thought uh, I'd tell you a little bit about um, multiple sclerosis, or well, MS as it's more commonly known. Um, yeah, I've got it. Have had it for a while, and I'm actually grateful. Now that might sound just a little bit strange and a bit weird, but I'll, I'll get to it, I promise. Um, the diagnosis process for MS is very long, very involved. Um, I'm not going to go into it. I've got better things to do with download, I'm sure. Uh, it took them about 12 months to, from when I initially went to the doc until they came back with the final results of, yes, you've got multiple sclerosis. Um, and they think I've probably had it for about two years prior to that. Uh, bitch of a thing to do. It, it really is a bitch of a disease to diagnose and it's a totally evil, nasty little disease. No cure for it, but on the upside, it doesn't kill you either. Uh, I reckon that's a bonus. Um, why am I grateful for it? Well, I look at it this way. Could be worse. <laughs> like I said, multiple sclerosis, although it is painful, um, more than a little uncomfortable, hellishly inconvenient, as I said, it is not going to kill me. I reckon that's a bonus. Um, I spend a lot of time going backwards and forwards to doctors. I get to meet lots of other interesting, lots of other interesting people in waiting rooms. Uh, saw a young lady a couple of weeks ago. She was in her mid twenties. Two little girls, about eight, six thereabouts. <laughs> I didn't ask exact ages doesn't matter you get the idea all right but she's got terminal cancer she's not going to see either of her children reach their 10th birthday I think shit I'm lucky eh? you know like I've got three kids I've had the pleasure of watching them grow my two eldest boys are now young men and quite frankly young men that I'm quite proud to say they're my sons um, that's lucky uh, this woman is never ever going to experience that and, and more importantly nor are her children they're never going to experience alright young girls they're never going to have their mum as they enter their teenage years how sad is that like I'm lucky and I'm grateful that in a way I'm grateful that I've got MS because had I not had MS that wouldn't have occurred to me um, uh, another one is um, I won't go right into it, but needless to say, MS affects all parts of the body, and not all the boy bits, man bits, call them what you like, uh, the gentleman's area, as James May would say, it doesn't all quite work correctly these days, that's alright, I can live with that, now, when I first learned about it, it was, uh, well, gut wrenching but in saying that I can now relate more I don't say I fully understand but I can relate more to what every woman in the world goes through um, when she goes through menopause because all of a sudden 
you don't feel like quite the person you should be. No. For want of a better term, I feel like half a man. Um, not complete. Um, no longer useful. Call it what you like. Um, lots of different terms for it. Uh, yeah, and I... Alright, I don't... Uh, when it comes to menopause, obviously, I don't get the hot flashes, etc, etc. Uh, but in saying that, I think I can relate a little more, and I have. I now have a lot more respect for women that are going through that process. Not saying I didn't have respect for them before, but now I have more. Um, I feel I can relate to it more. I'm, I find I'm a more compassionate and understanding sort of a person, and that is directly due to MS. Um, I wouldn't have thought of it otherwise. Um, also, I find that With just average everyday people in life, like I was walking a, walking across a shopping centre car park on a pedestrian crossing a couple of weeks ago. I was having a relapse, so I was going slow, and I was abused by a bloke in a car for going slow. Now, it didn't phase me, I just continued on with life, but I thought a couple of years ago, I was that person in that car, or well, I wouldn't have yelled abuse at the person on the street like he did, but I certainly would have thought, Jesus, you know, hurry up, what's taking you so long, go a bit faster, you know, can you go any slower, mate, you know, that sort of stuff, you know? um, I would have thought it, but now I don't. Um, because now I look at it and I think I don't know what is going on in that person's life. They may have a challenge that I can't see. Similar to MS, I have a challenge that other people can't see when I'm in relapse. Um, so I'm more compassionate and more understanding of other people. In saying that, I've also learnt a hell of a lot about myself, a hell of a lot about health in general. I still smoke, shut up, I know. Um, <laughs> don't get on my case about that. Um, but yeah, uh, I find more than anything, the whole thing that makes it, uh, what's the word, bearable, is attitude. I think that's the probably the big, uh, uh, the secret to dealing with MS is all about attitude. And uh, I think it's probably one of the biggest secrets to dealing with any of life's problems. It's all about attitude and how you deal with it. Anyway, have a great day and I'll catch up with you later. You have a good one. Bye.